The RV Show USA is brought to you by Flagstaff, Rockwood, building better RVs, making smarter RVers. So last week I made a suggestion that I thought, and I still think, is a, uh, a good idea in spite of what some folks said in their comments. The suggestion, well, it may be a good idea to try and look at yourself from the other person's perspective. And it just might occasionally help you make some adjustments in your behavior that would be good for everybody. I used a recent restaurant story to illustrate how one family helped make the dining experience for us and for everybody else in the restaurant um, unforgettable and not in a good way. Were the people oblivious to how they were acting or did they just not care? Truth is, it didn't matter. And that's the way it can be in campgrounds. So many people, so many different kinds of people. Some are there to relax and experience nature while some are there. Some are there with their family. Some are single, solo travelers, you know, and all that's good. But it works best in the campground when everyone acts with respect towards other campers. Is it really that hard to be respectful to others? For too many people, it is. And me venting like this isn't going to do a bit of good either, but I just feel like (laughs) I need to say it. Couldn't believe how many people saw my dining experience completely different than I did. One comment was essentially, uh, chill out, man. Let them have their fun. It's just a quote-unquote moment in time. Let it go. Ah, what great advice. Let it go. But you know what? I believe there are many times when we have let things go, and that's why we are experiencing so many thoughtless troublemakers. Why do we let it go? Why didn't I say something to the family at the restaurant who were over-the-top loud and obnoxious? The truth is, I wasn't afraid to say something. It was that saying something would have had no positive effect at all on the family that was there. None. The Greek philosopher Aristotle said, give me the child until he's seven, I will show you the man. Can you just imagine, what if we lived our lives, if we acted like what Aristotle said? I think that teaching young people, very young people, the difference between right and wrong is not an option. I also believe that, generally speaking, we, and I mean we as a country, have failed to realize how important those first seven years of life are to raising a respectful, productive, responsible adult. What we're seeing today is the manifestation of a generation of uh, us not remembering the importance of our, our primary job, of being good teachers as well as good parents. While the show is about uh, RVing and the RV lifestyle, uh, it's also a show where we occasionally touch on things like this, and these mini rants or monologues, whatever you want to call them, are not meant to cut people down or criticize them. They are an attempt to try and bring up subjects that I believe are important. Hopefully they'll resonate with you in a positive way. I respectfully suggest that it's a good idea to remember the words of Aristotle and put them into action. Give me the child until he's seven. I will show you the man. I'd love to hear your take. Feel free to post your comments or better yet, leave a message on our 24-hour voicemail at 1-330-WINGMAN.